Hello children, how are you all? Welcome back to e-learning class and today which subject? Come on read the lesson's name. Yes, animal world. In which subject does it come? Science, very good. Now did you all read the lesson? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Now in this lesson what did we do? Do you all remember? Yes, first what did we see? The sizes of animal, yes, big, small. Okay, come on, give me two examples of big animals. Lion and elephant, yes, very good. Now come on, give me two examples of small animals. Rat and cat, yes, very good. Then, what did we see next? Yes, we saw where the animals live and where do they live on land in water and few animals live on both land and water yes okay come on now give me two examples of the animals that live on land cow and tiger yes very good next come on give me two examples of animals that live in water fish and Octopus. Okay. Next, come on, give me two examples of animals that live on both land and in water. Crab and frog. Yes, you can write any examples. Whichever spelling is easy for you, you can remember that and write. Okay. Then next, what did we see? Types of animals. How many types of animals? Three and which are they? Wild animals, domestic animals and pet animals. Yes. Now come on, what are wild animals? Animals that live in forest. Yes, very good. And domestic animals? Animals that are helpful to us. Yes, we keep them at home or in farm. Then next, pet animals that we keep them in? Our houses, we love them, we take care of them, yes, all those are pet animals. Now come on, give me two examples of wild animals. Bear and rhino, yes, very good. Next, you give me two examples of domestic animals. Buffalo and sheep, okay. Next, you give me two examples of pet animals. Dog and cat. Yes. Okay. Now this shows all of you have learned the lesson nicely. Okay. Now come on. Shall we move towards the writing part? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Come on. So children, now we will start with question answers. Yes. But before starting the question answers, we will write the heading and date. Yes. Lesson 5, question, answer. Yes, lesson 5, question, answers. And I am going to check if you are writing the date correctly or no. Now everybody knows how to write the date. So I will not write, but you write. Okay, come on, let's start with question number 1. We will write this side of the margin. Q dash 1. Yes. First question is name two animals That live on land.
full stop no question mark because it doesn't start with the question word yes so now we will write answer 1 Come on, come on. Name two animals. Yes, cow and tiger. Cow and number two is tiger. Now children miss has written these two animals because the spellings are easy for you but if you find any other spelling is easy for you and you can remember that then you will write those spellings yes now question number 2 we will write q where do fish live W capital. Where do fish live? We will put a question mark because. The question starts with question word. Now come on, tell me the answer. Where do fish live? In water. We will write in full sentence. Yes. Answer two. Fish live in water. Live. in water there is no loop in t so be careful and full stop at the end now children one more mistake you all make is after question 1 answer 1 you all leave a line and then start question 2 answer 2 No you are not going to leave any lines in between okay you will continue in the same line okay now question 3 right the names of two animals that live on land as well as in water and full stop at the end a long question so be slow in writing see and write correctly okay answer 3 one is frog and 
नंबर टू विल बी क्रैब सी आर ए बी द स्मॉल स्पेलिंग आई हैव टेकन बट इफ यू कैन रिमेंबर क्रॉकोडाइल और एनी अदर स्पेलिंग देन यू कैन राइट दैट येस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फोर where do wild animals live animals live question mark where do wild animals live wild animals live in forest yes answer 4 wild animals live in forest and a full stop at the end wild animals live in forest next where do pet animals live is our question number 5 so come on let's write pet animals live l i v e live question mark answer 5 where do pet animals live they live with us at home so come on let's write pet animals live with us at home full stop you see children pet animals live that is from the question now you only need to remember with us at home yes so you see like this you can find out in many questions half answer will be in the question only only you need to remember the rest of the words but that doesn't mean you have to write only that much you have to write the full sentence okay now children who am i this question we will do This question is given in your textbook as in exercise C question match them yes on page number 32 okay but you don't need to match them you have to read the sentence put a small dash and write the name of the animal okay miss will show you how to write here it is shown as who am i i will send you the Uh, photo of a textbook also yes come on let's read the first one i have four legs and a tail now amongst these animals you tell which 
animal has got four legs and a tail bird no frog has it got tail no then dog yes dog has got four legs and tail so we will write the answer dog next i have four legs but no no tail now bird has got four legs no frog yes it has got four legs but does it have tail no so this is our answer i have four legs but no tail yes so we will write the answer frog here next i have no legs and my whole body looks like a long tail come on see the options bird has got legs yes or no okay frog we have already written dog also is written now which remain snake now we will see here i have no legs and my whole body looks like a long tail does snake have legs no then it looks like long tail yes so our answer is snake s n a k e snake next i have two feet and a beak bird has got two feet and does it have beak yes so our answer is bird b i r d bird now children next we will move to page number 33 yes you go to page number 33 and you see the down part let's have fun that topic is given is it yes now that also four sentences miss has converted into who am i okay you need to read the sentence and i will and you need to find the answer from the help box okay i have a long neck now you see elephant does it have long neck no then camel no rhino no then giraffe yes so we will write the answer g i r a double f e giraffe next i have a trunk which animal has got trunk elephant yes so we will write the answer elephant e l e p h a n t elephant number 3 i have a horn on my nose now which animal has got a horn on its nose rhino yes so we will write rhino here r h i n o rhino next i have a hump on my back which animal has got a hump on its back camel here it is written yes so we will write the answer camel c a m e l camel so children here we finish our lesson number 5 once again go through the lesson read the lesson slowly nicely and remember all the question answers read and write nicely okay bye children